So the ingredients required for palak paneer is palak, this is blanche palak, fresh cream, tomato puree, garam masala, jeera powder, red chili powder, for seasoning jeera, salt, milk, coriander leaves with two pieces of green chilli, paneer, onion and then fresh garlic, few pieces of fresh garlic. Welcome to KK's Kitchen, Kavi's Kitchen. Today I am going to do Palak Pani. For Palak Pani we have to do blanching. For blanching what we have to do, we have to first boil some water in a pan and we have to boil it very hot. Then after water gets boiled, you have to add the palak in that and you have to blanch it. Then you switch off the gas. Then you have to take the blanched parlor and put it in a cold water. So the color doesn't change or change the, the spinach color doesn't change. Now add the palak into the mixer grinder. coriander leaves green chili so first we have to heat the pan in the stove then you have to pour oil or ghee. I am using ghee today you can uh, use oil also. So three spoons of ghee. Let it eat. Thank <laughs> you. 
know for tempura add half a teaspoon of jeera then you have to add garlic The aroma you get from the ghee, then jeera and garlic is very nice, you know. In this lockdown, you can ask me why you are using full of ghee. In this lockdown, since we are not going out also, we are not having any tasty food in restaurants. So, one time and once in a while, Now one day we can have a tasty dishes with ghee. Then you have to add onion. I will. I have used one big size onion. So when the Onion turns golden color. You have to add jeera powder. I am using one spoon of jeera powder. This is that is garam masala one spoon. This is jeera powder one spoon. One minute. Then red chilli powder. Then after masalas are being fried for a minute, then you have to add some milk. Then it should be boiled for a few minutes. Let it boil for few minutes. Then you have. I am adding water. The jar water into it. Then allow it to boil for five minutes. Then I am using corn flour powder. Only some you sprinkle it. Okay. We are using corn flour, a pinch of corn flour, since the gravy becomes thicker. Then it should be. Boil for five minutes. Then close the kadai with the lid. Let it boil. Then after adding the puree, then we have to add the tomato puree along with this. After 
after 5 minutes of boiling, you have to add the 2 teaspoon of tempo puree and then it should again boil for another 5 minutes. Then after the puree gets thickened, you have to add the paneer. After adding paneer, let it cook for one second. <laughs> one second is over. Now switch off the gas. Switch off the stove, sorry. Now after switching off the gas stove, we have to add some milk. Sorry, sorry, US cream. So once you switch off the stove, you have to add the cream and now the Yummy palak paneer is ready to serve. It can be served as side dish for naan, kulcha, paratha, puri, chapati. It serves as a yummy side dish. So yummy palak paneer is ready. Thank you friends for watching my video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel, like my channel and share my video to all your friends and relatives. And do please try the recipe at your home and give your feedback in the comment section. Bye. Take care. Be safe at home.